Man, season finale, man. Last episode was crazy, guys. Uh, Y'all watched it. Thank you so much for supporting the video. Shocking. It's going to be a tough act to follow. Kind of like the Panthers, huh? <laughs> can't, Taking can't L's, win. yeah. Can't win, man. Rooting for the Starks is tough. <laughs> yeah, it is very much like rooting for the Panthers. You know, is this one going to be more dramatic than the last one? I don't know. That's the thing. Like, that should have been the season finale, right? They should have ended it right there. Yeah, what there. the heck's wrong with y'all? If, if you can't follow that up, don't make it a season finale. You know what Absolutely. I'm saying? Absolutely. Guys, I don't know what's going to happen, man. Uh, The war has went in a different direction, and... I guess it's Stannis v. Lannisters. I'm really hoping that since this is the season finale, guys, that this show really turns right now. Like, I'm hoping that it mm -hmm. takes, like, a new direction. You know, Rob's gone, so it's an opportunity for the show to pivot. Who's going to get Who's gonna get more screen time now? I swear to gosh. It better. It has to be Jon Snow because... Maybe my boy Stannis. Ooh. Stannis. I don't know. Uh, maybe Sir Davos, the Onion Knight. He's learning to read right now, right? <laughs> yeah. Right, I so. love when he reads. It's like the... It's so It's so sad. It's so sad that they never taught him to read. Guys, hopefully this one isn't dramatic as the last one. Uh, we we're going to put this out immediately after, but to be honest, we packed up, we put it on Patreon, and we went to Subway. And... Uh, <laughs> We just and we, ate a and we were bummed, it. like we were yeah. eating it, like depressed. <laughs> right. All right, guys, buckle up. It is freaking Game of Thrones time. Let's, Let's go. go. I don't know where this is about to go. Oh yeah, comment below. What was y'all's reaction to that episode your first time? You know what? I actually really wanted to go look up like other reactors' reactions right. to that, but I was so scared if I did, I would spoil yeah, something, yeah, so yeah. I did it. But guys. When this is over, I'm gonna look at some people's reactions because this show's epic. It'd I need to really know. Cool. I need to know what other people felt like. Was it like us? I don't know. Right. I mean, I can see why you guys are interested in our reaction because I would be interested in yours. 100%. Yeah, I want to know yours. Comment right now. I'm wondering why they even keep showing Winterfell. It's like we haven't been there in a hot minute. Because it's still just such an important part of what's going on in the story. Right. They're just not letting it fall into irrelevancy, I guess. So that's Daenerys's now, young Kai. They took it. I wish I could do that. Whistle. <laughs> I hate oh, you, I hate you, I hate guy. you. Look at the symbolism for him climbing the chain, climbing the ladder. Climbing the ladder, chaos. I'm so pissed, why are y'all doing that? Oh my This God. is just like the Reigns of Castamere. There's anyone who's a Stark, bye bye. That's a smart man right there. Got the flag. Uh, is that him? I want to get sick. Arya has to see that. That's the wolf on his body. Bro, what in the world? Arya just had to see that? Oh my gosh. Like, you think the thing with Ned is the worst thing she's ever seen in her life, man. Like, this just imagine worse. seeing that, dude. Oh my lord. That poor girl. Husband and wife. Inside peace. <laughs> what are you doing? I have a list. A list of people you mean to kill? For laughing at me. <laughs> Do I look like Joffrey to you? No, death seems a bit extreme. Fear of death. You should learn to ignore them. Now, lady, people have been laughing at me far longer than they've been laughing at you. The half man, the demon monkey, the imp. You're a Lannister. I am the disgraced daughter of the traitor Ned Stark. Oh, she doesn't even know. The disgraced daughter and the demon monkey were perfect for each other. So, how should we punish them? Sir Eldrick Sarsfield and Lord Desmond Craig? Ah, Would you be annoyed if you were Shay? I could speak to Lord Varys, <laughs> learn the perversions. Anyone named Desmond Craycall must be a pervert. I hear that you're a pervert. I am the imp. I have certain standards to maintain. <laughs> We could sheep shift Lord Desmond's bed. You cut a little hole in his mattress and you stuff sheep dung inside. Then you sew up the hole and make his bed again. His room will stink, but he won't know where it's coming from. Lady <laughs> Sansa. My sister used to do that when she was angry with me. <laughs> and she was always angry with me. Aria. <laughs> Why sheep shift? I just feel so bad for everybody right now, dude. I'm not really. <laughs> Shay's laughing. My lady. Well, you asked me. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> <laughs> My lord. My lady, your father has called a meeting of the small council. He's so, like, loyal to his position. You saw him sprinting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. He's so happy. Killed a few puppies today. <laughs> show him. He said, show him. <laughs> show him. Oh, my God. Is it going to be that Rob? Apologies, my lord. No. Bruh. Yeah, we bet. Limber old man. man. We've seen you doing squats. Is Vera sad? It looks like it. Yeah. 
caught a fine fat trout. Her brothers gave her a pair of wolf pelts for her wedding. Signed, Walder Frey. Is that bad poetry, or is it supposed to mean something? Rob Stark is dead. And his bitch mother. That's what he got from that. <laughs> right back to Lord Frey. Thank him for his service and command him to send Rob Stark's head <laughs> to serve it to Sansa at my wedding feast. Bro, there just ain't no shot with this dude. A joke, if we did not mean it. Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm going to have it served to Sansa at my wedding feast. No, she is no longer yours to torment. Everyone is mine to torment. <laughs> <laughs> you do well to remember that, you little monster. Perhaps you should speak to me more softly that monsters are dangerous and just now kings are dying like flies that's what i'm talking about dude his boldness is increasing isn't it he's like appalled he's like this is why i don't come to these things tywin's like you could have your tongue out for saying that let him make his threats he's a bitter little man <laughs> Tyrion should apologize immediately unacceptable Dis Shut i'm over him right now bro in very bad taste i am the king any man who must say I am the king is no true king. A Tywin. <laughs> I'll make sure you understand that when I've won your war for you. My father won the real war. He killed Prince Rhaegar. He took the crown while you hid on a castle rock. Oh, no, he didn't. That's what I'm saying, bro. The king is tired. See him to his chambers. <laughs> Put that man to bed. Tired. We have so much to celebrate. You dang, Cersei like has to be on like control Grand duty, Mister. like dang. Perhaps some essence of nightshade to help him sleep. Oh. I'm not tired. Oh. That was nuts, dude. So what does this mean? Tywin's sort of stepping up, right? Tywin's the show's, in charge. <laughs> right, yeah. The show's everything. really trying to show us that right now. And he just stuck up for Tyrion. And even Tyrion sort of seeing through all this bullshit. He's like, I'm over this. Sorry for your cousin. Not you. Always not you. <laughs> gotta keep the brains in the room. He's gotta go tell his wife what that her family's dead. You just sent the most powerful man in Westeros to bed without us. <laughs> <laughs> If you believe he's the most powerful man in Westeros. <laughs> Treason is statement. Joffrey is king. <laughs> you really think a crown gives you power? Right. I think armies give you power. Mm -hmm. Rob Stark had one. Never lost a battle. And you defeated him all the same. Walder Frey gets all the credit. All the blame, I suppose, depending on your allegiance. Mm -hmm. Walder Frey is many things, but a brave man, no. <laughs> Never risk such an action if you didn't have certain assurances which you got from me 100 percent. do you disapprove i'm all for cheating this is war but to slaughter them at a wedding explain to me why it is more noble to kill ten thousand men in battle than a dozen at dinner so that's why you did it to save lives end the war to protect the family i'm in this world a little while longer to defend the lannisters to defend my blood the northerners will never forget Never. Good. Let them remember what happens when they march on the south. Yeah, from whatever way you All look at it, right? Mm -hmm. Winterfell is a ruin. What about Brienne? Bruce what about Rickon? be named Warden of the North. Mm -mm. Screw you, Roos. Until your son by Sansa comes of age. I believe you still have some work to do on that score. Do you think she'll open her legs for me after I tell her how he murdered her mother and brother? Good man does everything in his power to better his family's position, regardless of his own selfish desires. When have you ever done something that wasn't in your interest, but solely for the benefit of the family? The day that you were born. Mm, man, that's jacked up, man. Always Taiwan hitting him with the little Always. Ones. I wanted to carry you into the sea and let the waves wash you away. Instead, I let you live. He let him live. And I brought you up as my son because you're a Lannister. Their relationship is so like just like deep rooted. But ugly. on some level, Tywin has to appreciate the opinion of this man, right? Right. He's always keeping him around, almost because he wants Something. him to check him in some type of way. <gasps> she found out. Dang, man. Jeez, bro, this show is hitting in the guts right now. Mm -hmm. So dark. It's empty. Let's find a place to sleep. Hodor. <laughs> Hodor. <laughs> don't, Hodor. Ren said, don't let me get in that head, boy. Maybe we shouldn't stay here. You'd rather be out there. There are a lot of stories about this place. Horrible stories. I always quite like the horrible stories. You ever heard about the rat cook? Who's he? Just a cook in the Night's Watch. He was angry at the king for 
something. When the king was visiting the nightfall, the cook killed the king's son, cooked him into a big pie. Oh. That night, he served the pie to the king. Oh. He liked the taste of his son so much, he asked for a second slice. The gods turned the cook into a giant white rat. He could only eat his own young. He's been roaming the night fort ever since, devouring his own babies. Dang, old Nan told him that? <laughs> Bro, that is a horrifying the story, gods dude. Every killer into a giant white it rat. It wasn't for murder the gods cursed the rat cook. He killed a guest beneath his roof. Mm. Something the gods can't forgive. That's what Walter Frey did. Right, and the Lannisters, essentially. And he was Look just confronting Tywin about how that was like messed up. And he's like, hey, you can cheat more, bro. The late Walder Frey. Oh, Tully called oh, me because wow. I didn't get my men to the Tridents in time for battle. He thought he was witty. Look at us now, Tully. You're dead. Your daughter's dead. Your grandson's dead. Your son spends his wedding night in a dungeon. And I'm Lord of River Run. Oh. <laughs> the Blackfish escaped. I called him Blacksmith last episode. On the run, no allies. I have Tywin Lannister backing me. Who does he have? As you say. They all thought they were better than me. You'll be needing a new young girl. Yeah, got that to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> and you, the Warden of the North. Must have been torture following that stupid boy all over the country. He ignored my advice at every turn. If he'd been a trifle less arrogant. Call himself the Young Wolf. How's that for pomposity? <laughs> yeah, right. Here's to the Young Wolf. Oh, forever young. I hate y'all too. I mean, like, I, I miss my boy Rob, but. I can't wait for them to get what's coming to them. I know, but the screenplay right now is just too good, so. Winterfell's in ruins. I heard the Greyjoy boy seized the place. I heard he killed all the ravens. After that, nothing. I sent my bastard Ramsay to root him out. Rob Stark offered amnesty for the Ironborn if they gave us Theon. Ramsay delivered the terms. The Ironborn turned on Theon as we knew they would. They handed him over, trussed and hooded. But Ramsay. Okay. That's his son. Yeah, there we oh go. Oh my God, I cannot stand this freaking dude. Okay, okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. Oh Bro, my please God. don't be eating it for real. No, nah, he's just eating glizzies with mustard. What's with glizzies? Sausages. Sausages? Okay, yeah. <laughs> like what the hell? He's <laughs> so crazy over here. My girl's modest guy, trust, trust. Okay. You think I'm some sort of savage? Yes, we do. Poor Theon, dude. People talk about phantom limbs. An amputee might have a niche where his foot used to be. So I've always wondered. What? Poor Theon, bro. Ah. Oh. Next time you think about naked girls, when you feel an itch. Oh, what the heck? That was suck, though, dude. He's evil. Imagine just walking around with all that pressure, just and you just can't do nothing about it, bro. Like, that would suck, don't you think? <laughs> My mother taught me not to throw stones at cripples. So this is Roos's bastard, Ramsey. My father taught me, aim for their head. Kill me. A little louder. Kill me! You're no good to me, dead. We need you. They need him for what? You know what I'm saying? To get to their dad, maybe? To his dad? I don't know. He hasn't really picked a side yet, particularly, has he? Other than like, well, he didn't seem down with the Lannisters, per se. Mm. He don't like the Starks, obviously. You don't look like a Theon Greyjoy anymore. That's the name for Lord. But you're not a Lord. I... What is wrong with this guy? You reek. Reek! That's a good name for you. What's your name? Theon Grazio. <gasps> his he's name's Reek to, now, bro. He's gonna have oh, to say he's man. Reek. What's your name? Theon Grazio. Oh my god. What is your name? Reek. Oh my gosh. He wishes the Starks had him like that, but it's this guy now. Yeah, the Starks would be merciful of some sort, but this guy right here. Is he worse than Joffrey, or are they one and the same? Because they are just... They're brothers. What is this about to be? Ah! Is that Sam? Don't kill me. <gasps> who are you? Sam! Sam! Who are you? Oh, they met at the same Jimmy, castle. Don't hurt us. Where are you going? To Castle Black. Whoa, they're going to hear about John. My brother of the night's okay. watch. My brother, he's in the night's Shush. Who? Who's your brother? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'm like, I'm so sorry, little boy, but you ain't calling John's the shots. Brother. He knew from the wolf. The one who fell from the window. I'd be dead if it wasn't for John. If you're his brother, you're my brother too. And anything I can do to help you, I will. Take us north of the wall. That's a big ass, little bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why in the world would I you want to go? I want to. I have to. Right, he's seen all those How white walkers. Come with us. There are steps. 
carved into the south side of the wall. Hodor can carry you to the top. If John is alive, then Castle Black's where he'll be. It's the safest place for you. There's nowhere safe any longer. What I know is what I saw. And if you saw it too, you'd run the other way. You saw the White Walkers and the army of the dead. And he killed one. He's a warrior. Mm -hmm. But you're going to stop them. Please, sir. I have to go north. I have to. Explain it to Sam. He's like a wizard. He would love that. That's what I was thinking. But obviously, they don't really trust him that much. Right. Can't express all that. Balon. Oh, so that's from Bolton? Mm -hmm. It's going to be about Theon, obviously. Or Rob Sark. Balon Greyjoy, Lord of the Iron Islands and Invader of the North. <laughs> I give you until the full moon to order all ironborn scum out of the north and back to those shit-stained rocks you call <laughs> How insulting. On the first night of the full moon, I will hunt down every islander still in our lands and flay That's going to be Theon's thing right there. Uh-uh. The way I flayed the 20 ironborn scum I found at Winterfell. In the box, you'll find a special gift. Theon's favorite toy. He cried when I took it away from him. Man, that's jacked up, fellas. That is so evil. That just gotta be all like shriveled up and dead now, right? Leave the north now, or more boxes will follow with more Theon. Makes Lord all the sense the in the world now, guys. Yeah, Lord of the Dreadfort. Yara's probably gonna wanna fight for him, I bet. Theon disobeyed my orders. Oh yeah, that's right, because she kinda like loves him a little bit. The boy's a fool. Well, she's about her family, you too. Further the Greyjoy line. Get this away from me. He's your son. Son? He's not a man anymore. He's your son. He's my brother. He's a Greyjoy. Watch yourself. If she goes I after him, I'm going to be so hyped. Right. I, I hope she is. I, I hope she does. And I've made mine. I'm going to pick the fastest ship in our fleet. Yo, let's go. Okay. I'm going to choose the 50 best killers on the Iron Islands. You saw him. He had a scratch. I'm going to sail up the narrow sea all the way to the Weeping Yeah, that fucking got him, huh? I'm going to march on the Dreadfort. I'm going to find my little brother. Do you hear and this I'm epic going music? To bring him home. Let's go, dude. We got a new mission. I know. I'm I like her one. now. I like yeah, her. Yeah, me too. I was about to say, why am I rooting for these freaking Ironborns all of a sudden? But it's because Theon knew he messed up. He knew it. He admitted it. Yeah, man. We paid the iron price. Ned Stark was his real dad, and that's what makes me like Theon again. I don't, you know. I mean, he deserves what he got in a way. Killing my walkers. How do you know that? The walker came for my baby. And Sam. But no one's killed a white walker in thousands of years. I suppose someone had to be the first. Let's go but you weren't him. the first. Wasn't it John? It was Ghost, right? I thought they burnt that one up in that place. Oh, yeah, but Ghost helped too, remember? The Archer. Maybe. Or he was outside, I don't remember. I got lucky with one of them. There are more. And for every one of them. I wish you'd come with us. I wish I could. I really do. He doesn't know about his brother or mom yet. I don't know when he's going to find out. I don't know when John's going to find out. I have no idea. That could be forever down the line. because That's really cool that they got to meet, though. Dang, they locked him up too? <laughs> you keep him. Great. Ever better. It was just a bit of blood. I should have known. Every time a highborn asks my name, it's trouble. <laughs> Everyone dies asking We're for your name. To you, <laughs> I'm not a highborn. She called you sir. I heard it. It was born of flea bottom, just like you. You don't believe it? Sure you were. <laughs> You're my friend. You're here to help. How close to the Red Keep were you? <laughs> Shit that poured from their privy pipes down the side of the Egon's Hill along Tanner's Row and right in front of my front door. He's like, you ain't really from the streets, bro. Alley. Oh, maybe you are. The street of steel with your armor and your knights. Pfft, you lived in the fancy part of town. And here we are now. Two boys from Flea Bottom in the castle of a king. Yeah, we've come a long way. <laughs> He's in the dungeon. We're all the same, really. If you mistrust fancy people so much, why were you in such a hurry to trust her? You're me. Never been with a woman. Never talked to a woman, really. And then she comes at you. <laughs> Big words, no clothes. What would you have done? And she does know a way around a man's head. I'll give her that. So how'd you become a lord? Oh, that's a long story. Better not, then. I'm a bit busy. <laughs> <laughs> Many years ago, I helped King Stannis out with a difficult situation. He rewarded me with a lordship and this. Oh, wow. <laughs> did you realize he didn't have fingers? I mean, I heard him I say it before. I didn't want to be a lord. I did it for my son. I didn't want him to step over a river of shit every time he stepped through his front door. I wanted him to have a better life. Does he? He's dead. Oh, adopt Gendry. How'd he die? Seems like to be somebody in this world, you gotta risk like dying. Did you hear that? How do you die? Following me. You've been a good influence on our mutual friend, you know. He used to drink from sundown to sunup, visit three brothels a night, gamble away his father's money. Now it's just the drinking. <laughs> and 
Now I'm his wife's servant. I brush her hair and clip her nails and empty her chamber pot. She is a sweet young thing. None of this is her fault. I love that girl. I would kill for her. Do you think that makes it easier for me? No, I expect not. Aww. She's young and she's beautiful and high-born. We break bread with them, but that doesn't make us family. If you let yourself believe that a foreign girl with no name could spend her life with the son of Tywin Lannister... I have a name. You have one name, as do I. Here, only the family name matters. What do you want from me, Lord Ferris? Diamonds. I tell you to beware carrying so much wealth, but you know how to protect yourself. Get on one of those ships, sail to Pentos, or Lys, or Mir. You can buy a house with these diamonds. Hire servants. Start a new life, a good life, far from here. So he's rich. A mysterious foreign hey, rich, rich. You'll have suitors lining up. Tyrion Lannister is one of the few people alive who can make this country a better place. He has the mind for it, he has the will, he has the right last name. He, he does love the realm. You are a complication i'm asking you to leave because your presence in the capital endangers him mm. she's not gonna do it and we're all gonna wish that she did at some point it might cost her her life if he wants me to leave he can tell me himself she missed the whole damn point didn't she guys mm. jesus she thought Tyrion didn't set that up and he had nothing to do with that leave it would suck to be bossed around by her. Like, if she just walked in right now and told me to leave. I'd be like, only if Tyrion so, tells me to. Enjoying married life. Unhappy wife is a wine merchant's best friend. I won't be marrying Sir Loris. I seem to remember saying something similar about my own marriage. You're not me. You want to make things better for Sansa? Give her a child. So you can tell father it was you who finally talked me into it. So she can have some happiness in her life. You have children. How happy would you say you are? Oh, right. <laughs> About a three. Not very. But if it weren't for my children, I'd have thrown myself from the highest window in the Red Keep. I can see that. I'm alive. Even Joffrey. Even Joffrey. <laughs> you can only love him if you're his mom, though. It was all I had once. I used to spend hours looking at him. His weasel face. <laughs> you always hear the terrible ones were terrible babies. We should have known. Even then, we should have known. It's nonsense. Oh. Whenever he was with me, he was happy. She loved him so much, but she didn't teach no, him not one, one bit of decency. Right. How it feels to have someone, someone of your own. How long does it go on? Until we've dealt with all our enemies. Every time we deal with an enemy, we create two more. Right. And I suppose it will go on for quite a long time. <laughs> what in the world? Who are they talking about? Catelyn. Oh, they're talking about Catelyn. Wow. <laughs> None of the Starks had much to say by the end of that meal. The hardest thing was getting that wolf's head to stay on the body. You sold it off. I did. I bet there were a thousand men claiming they were the one. It was me. The <laughs> thing was so heavy it fell off the first time. Oh. What we ended up having to do, hook the needle right under the collarbone, give it a nice firm mooring. What do you want? Mind if I keep warm? Fuck off. But I'm hungry. Does fuck off <laughs> mean something different where you're from? Oh my god. Oh my goodness gracious. Good thing she has the hound on her side. Dang, team. She really just gutted him, didn't she? Well, did you get the knife? From you. So Arya's different now, mm -hmm. dude. Like, she's just a full blown first killer. You've killed. Next time you're going to do something like that, tell me first. <laughs> <laughs> They're Are they about to become like murdering partners? Oh my like god, like Bonnie and Clyde? Yeah. Jeez. What's that? Her little coin from Jackin. Well, he's over there eating their junk. <laughs> <laughs> she said Valor McGuis. That probably wasn't even the guy who did it either. He was just running his mouth. <laughs> Cost him everything. Look at this crow. With eagle scars. <laughs> oh. No, you won't. He knows nothing. Remember why shoot him? You know, I didn't have a choice. You always knew who I was. But I am. Yeah, that's why you liked him, Loki. We know it. I have to go home now. Please don't shoot this man. No, he won't hurt me. I don't know, man. <laughs> you know nothing, Jon Snow. Ooh, that's what they mean by that. She's gonna kill him. I do know some things. I know I love you. <laughs> oh, that's even worse, man. <laughs> I know you love me. What's well, that cat? I wouldn't love her. She's crazy. I have to go home now. It, she's a good actress, though. Look at that. Oh, she did it. Oh my God, bro. Is she gonna kill him? Yes. 
Is this the end of Jon Snow already, dude? No way. Bro, she ain't playing. And she's a good shot, too. She really went for the kill, too, bro. Oh, my gosh. She's really hurt about that. Yeah, that girl is just confused, man. Jon thought the whole time, like, no. it was some wink wink going on, but uh-uh. She feels betrayed. What I meant was... I swear to you, my lord. I'm not didn't. a lord, my dear. <laughs> not for many, many years. We haven't seen him in, like, Every two seasons. Every man joins the Night's Watch renounces all former titles, among other things. <laughs> Sam. Mm -hmm. What is your name? Gilly. Ah, for the Gilly flower. Oh. Yes, my... Maester. Master. Maester. Mm -hmm. And the child. She hasn't chosen a name yet. His name is Sam. Oh, that's his name. Be quiet. That's um, cute. Mm. Tully, do you remember the oath you swore? He's not my child, Mr. Raymond. She's one of Craster's wives. Now he understands. I remember every word of the oath. Night gathers and my watch begins. I am the shield that guards the realms of men. The realms of men. That means her as well as us. The night is gathering, Mr. Raymond. I've seen it. It's coming for all of us. We had to stick together. You and your son will be our guests for the time being. We certainly He's a good Targaryen. Send you back beyond the wall. We had 44 ravens at last count to make sure they're all fed to his grace. There we Yo. go. Stannis Baratheon invited the name day celebration on the first nigget night <laughs> the first night of the full moon why is there a g in night i don't know they're just this well, your father's not going to go to that my books are better than these boring scrolls you could read about valerian the dread to all the lords and noble men of westeros noble men noble men of westeros <laughs> the nick the night night <laughs> watch implores what is it What's that bell, babe? Are they ringing the bells? I don't know. Stay here. Remember he said Bother bells me. don't mean like, I don't remember. Davos said something about bells and went on Blackwater and I forgot what it was. Why are there so many scrolls? That's like an obsessive amount. I know. He said the Rob Stark is dead. Betrayed by his bannerman. And you take credit because you dropped a leech into the fire. I take no credit. I have faith and my faith has been rewarded. I don't know if Rob Stark died because of the Red Woman sorcery or because at war men die all the time, but I do know that uniting the seven kingdoms with blood and magic is wrong. It is evil, and you are not an evil man. Back to the you dungeon, bro. Table carved and painted to Davos. You're gone Targaryen. And you know how Aegon Targaryen conquered Westeros? He had a smaller fleet than the kings he faced and a smaller army, but he had three dragons, dragons of magic. Sir Davos. My enemies have made my kingdom bleed. I will not forget that. I will not forgive that. I will punish them with any arms at my disposal. You do not need to burn the boy if what you say is true. A great gift requires a great sacrifice. He's like, oh, I never thought of that. Ooh. <laughs> like, you're... You know, the thing is, I don't really know what type of king he would be. It's really hard Neither. to tell, bro. He's so stale. Yeah, I don't I don't really even know if he's a good guy. It's His hard personality to... is Melisandre. <laughs> yeah. And she doesn't even have one. She's just about the Lord of Light. His name's Gendry, a poor lad from Flea Bottom who happens to be your nephew. He's like, great, we'll sacrifice them all the same. What is the life of one bastard boy against a kingdom? Everything. The boy must die. It's that blood no. magic, man. Get him out, Davos. You can do it. What are you doing? You're leaving. Yo, maybe we should start rooting for Davos. Yes, but not on you. Davos, let's go. He's a smuggler, so. Star. Mm -hmm. Don't stop. There's bread and water. Go slow with it. If you finish it off, no matter how thirsty you get. Yeah, don't drink that water. Don't drink seawater. Try not to drink seawater. <laughs> Row for a full day and night, and you'll reach Rook's Rest. You want to stop there? Don't. Why should I go? Just keep the post on your left side until you reach King's Landing. The gold cloaks are looking for me. They've been looking for me for 20 years. If they know your face, I'd worry more about the red woman. <laughs> Dev is like, get out of here. She's scary. <laughs> you know how thrilling that would be, though, to hop you in that boat way. and try to escape that? Like, I know it would be scary, but God, you'd feel so alive. Especially him. He's had to bow in, to everyone and listen to everyone. Yeah. He just coached him up. You're on your own out there. Doing this? Because it's right and because I'm a slow learner. <laughs> when you get to free bottom, have a bowl of brown for me. Ugh. Oh my god, I hope they don't know he did it. Dude, in Stannis' mind, though, that's gonna be like a ginormous betrayal. Like, losing the war type of betrayal. Betraying, like, his faith type of betrayal. Oh my gosh. John! John! John, it's yours! So, push now. 
you home. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So he made it. I was really worried about him. Yo, it's Jamie. <laughs> he just walking up in this town like that. Look at Brienne. Step aside, country boy. <laughs> no respect. Enter boy. Brienne's looking more Lannister than Jamie nowadays with his brown hair. They need to get him something on his nub right there. His grease ball. What is that? Probably a shell Jamie got her. No way. They're back already? Oh my gosh. Does she still like him even though he doesn't have a hand? We'll see. You know, his whole power came from his hand, you know? Your mercy saved the boy's life. You feel good about that? Aye, I do. You saved one innocent. How many tens of thousands have you doomed? There has got to be another way. What other way? Tell us about this other way. I'm just not scared. Yeah, stop yelling, bro. Aye, Stannis of the House Baratheon, first in my name, rightful King of the Andals, and the first men sentence you to die. But since you haven't yet unnamed me Hand of the King, it is my duty to advise you against it. <laughs> You're gonna need me. Take him away. Get out of here. <laughs> well, I'm gonna need you. Uh-oh. What's he got? Insurance. Okay. It's from Meister Eamon of the Night's Watch. Their Lord Commander is dead. Took a ranging party north and never made it back. One lad did, though. What he saw beyond the wall, it's coming for all of us. This war of five kings means nothing. The true war lies to the north, my king. Oh, is she wow. telling the truth? Death marches on the wall. Mm. Only you can stop him. You can't stop him alone. You need someone to rebuild your army for you. Someone to convince this lord and that lord to fight for you. I've made my decision. Reconsider. He's right. You need him. He has a part to play in the war to come. Dang. She believes in a way. She's that... manipulating him hard, though. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? She's like double manipulating him right now. He sees the devils being saved by that fire god you like to mock. Yeah, he was saved by your ability to get manipulated. You're in his army now. <laughs> she just knows something. Yeah. And obviously, it's way bigger than we know. Look at the dragons. Oh. Look at the army. Who will come, Your Grace, when they're ready? Perhaps they didn't want to be conquered. You didn't conquer them, you liberated them. People learn to love their chains. So that's a whole new dynamic. People learn to love their chains. What happens when you're enslaved, but you don't really realize it because you're so used to it. Mm -hmm. She seems crazy. Oh my gosh. What are they thinking? Yo, that's the episode name, right? Yeah. Misa. What's that mean? I guess that's just what they call her. What does it mean? It means mother. Oh. These people would hurt me. I don't know, man. I mean, can't one of them be undercover? Yeah. Oh, wow. Her dress is so cool because it's like dragony. Said if anybody tries mama, don't burn their head off. I don't want her to go out there. Does she like love this? Remember her brother early, early, like early on? He was saying that his whole life has been his destiny to go take back the throne and not once in his life has all these people cheered and chanted for him the way. This is just like bringing me back to that. Whoa! Like a rock star. I know. Like, 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 there. <laughs> <laughs> real. I love this moment. It's just very dangerous to me for some reason. Yeah, she's relishing in this pretty hard. I mean, I'm happy for her. To be honest, I think I'm just stressed out. There's a lot going on. It looks like a Targaryen symbol, kind of. Looks like the eye of a dragon or something. That army was huge, bro. This shows too much. All right, so that was Game of Thrones, the season finale. Baby, what did you think about that episode? I love this season. This season, I think... Kind of gave me chills, bro. I don't I know. know if y'all can see, but geez, man. <laughs> this season, I think, was my favorite so far. Yeah, yeah, 100%. So, I mean, that last episode before episode nine, uh, we can do without that one. I wish it didn't happen, but... Somebody left a comment at one point and said, you know, there's something magical about the first season. It's so simple. It's so political. It's so to the point, And it's just a perfect season. And there's a lot of truth to that, man. The first season was just so simple when they ended it in such a shocking way and it set mm. up the show. But um, now that I've like become more adapt to the show, you know, this is definitely my favorite season. Yeah. And I'm really excited to get into the fourth season. I was saying I hope that something different happens. And this show seemed to push the show. This particular episode pushed the show in a completely different direction. Right. You know, and I'm, I'm here for it. So uh, the best parts of this episode to me, though, was the fact that Theon's sister's got a mission now. Yeah. She's going to go try I to rescue that. Theon. I love that. That was, that was tough, yeah. Because I feel like Theon, he kind of got, like, he's kind of even now. 
Right. He kind of got even, and he needs some redemption. I really like her character a lot. I do too. I like her character. Um, You know, to me, guys, Theon's a little, I don't know, man. Theon tried to play the game. He basically thought, And he swung and missed hard. He swung and missed hard, (laughs) bro. He fell on his face, pulled something. And, like, it's cool that he, like, you know, tried, but it's sad that he had to, you know, betray the only people who ever truly loved him. He's going to look back at his life, man, and he's going to realize he just screwed yeah, up he's in the like, worst possible that way. That was the so. worst thing I've ever done. I listened to what's his name, Dogmar, or whatever his name, and <laughs> I really messed up. I'm sympathetic towards Theon. Like, I understand he's got so many deep-seated issues. But, I mean, let's just be 100% straight here, guys. If you live in this society, do you really got time to be that sensitive? Right. Like, forget who your daddy is, bro. Like, get over it, because your head's going to be cut off. In the bl- like, Better yet, you got a better chance not having your head cut off if that's not your dad. So, if he disowns you or whatever the case may be, just... I don't know, man. Maybe try to use it's, that to your advantage. But to me, it's like bittersweet with that because, like, cool, we could give up on, we like, forget Balon. He doesn't really matter. We don't really like him, but we like Yara. So it seems like Yara is going to fight for Theon because he's a gray joy. Yeah. And for me, I think if he never would have went back, he would have never got um, Yara to remember him. And yeah, Theon's ego essentially got him, got his thing chopped off. That was crazy. Uh, what else happened? Jon um, Snow got arrows by, yeah. his, by his lover. She betrayed him essentially. I don't really know but how to But he betrayed about that. her first, though. Yeah. But at the same time, man, like he hit the nail on the head. Like you knew what I was, man. Right. Like, we we're sitting there hush hushing it, but deep down, like we knew whose side I was on. Right. Like, and you knew the whole time you were you were skeptical. You're making comments. God, oh, that well, was see, crazy. If you're gonna get in a relationship with someone, that's why you have to like discuss those things because they thought they're on the same page, like on the low, but it turns out they were completely misreading yeah, each other. Like, oh, oh. And she literally tried to kill him. I don't know if she was just missing. I don't know if that was the insinuation. I don't know. Maybe she missed on purpose because she's a good shot. Remember that deer? Is she that good of a shot? I don't know, know, man. I think she's known to be a good shot. I think that's the point of like why she's kind of like a wildling. Why why Mance sense. knows her? Because they have a wildlings are so many. Right. Uh, got us a little bit more. Than, <laughs> what else? So I guess the next thing we could talk about is like Bran and like how he just like has come so close to like seeing one of his family members. But like same with Arya. The only time she saw her family members was when she saw Rob's head. It's almost like it's just not really meant for them to. Right. They keep like cutting it really be. close. Oh, that part was brutal. Dude, dude that with was the head. Terrible. Like that was so bad, man. Like that was like so sickening to see because, you know, I made my mind up mentally that Rob's dead because I was rooting for Rob hard. But now that Rob's no longer part of the show and his mom's no longer part of the show, this doesn't really seem like the type of show that's going to give us a lot of flashbacks. So right. I don't think that they're going to be back in the show, but maybe I'm wrong. But you know what? I decided I'm going to move on from the character. I'm over it at this point. I'm really hoping something I don't remember if I asked, but I was wanting to ask you guys, does the show get better without Rob or worse? But we can't really ask. Don't ask. Yeah. So I can't really ask you that, but I'm just going to assume it gets better you know what i'm saying yeah like, that just seems like phase one of the show like maybe like when we look back at it there'll be like multiple different like eras of the show right. like the, like the right. 2b era maybe we'll come up with like davos or something i don't know right he, he kind of had a, like a triumphant story here oh man shay got offered a ton of gold and a rich lifestyle to leave king's landing and she said you know what if he wants me gone but what does that say about himself. varus that it, like what we said varus does things solely because he wants the realm to thrive and he believes Tyrion is actually good for it well that's what we're, we're being led to believe he does right. everything just based on the realm but in this world is it really possible that just because Varys doesn't have testicles that all of his intentions are purely like right you just don't know because like you that. don't know him like that I don't really right. know much about that dude man like it's right. just hard to trust anybody like, <laughs> right even the way he talks and just holds his little drape up like this is just kind of strange to and, me bro and Jamie made it back to King's Landing so how did Cersei look in the face when she saw him the thing is she I didn't know anything like she gave us nothing the show was trying to imply in my mind that basically Basically, the show was trying to imply because Jamie walked in like this, right? Like he's like, "Yo, check it out." Like it's you know there, what I'm it's like, there. Like, you're not like, missing he, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Cersei looked at him like, I don't know if it was just sympathy it or just maybe blank like to me. So I couldn't, I didn't pick up anything from it. Right. Maybe just. I don't know. I just can't imagine. You know, Cersei made a comment about how Joffrey, she wanted Joffrey to be like Jamie, mm-hmm. right? So she obviously thinks a lot about Jamie in terms of like his manliness and his ability to like carry a sword. Cause that's right. Like, you know, well, she also thinks of him as a lover too, because whenever he, she had those like miscarriages and right. babies died, Jamie was the one there for her while Rob and, wasn't. And now he's missing like basically the thing that molded him into like, you know, Jamie walks around with a very, with a very high name. Obviously, he's a Lannister, but what really earns him that confidence that he walks around with is the fact that he'll pick up a sword and slice you up with it and do it anymore and he was on the king's guard he was like the main guy is so. he about to be the best left-handed swordsman in the kingdom or maybe something? Like, maybe it will have to help him like what if he's like the rocky music it's like dun, 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 like like uh <clears throat> rihanna tarth helps him 
Yeah. And they're always in there. Always and they train all day. Yeah. Like, push no. harder, Jamie. And then Cersei gets jealous, puts a head out right. on Brienne. Uh huh. So the like theories that. are about to start flowing again, guys. What like, else I we got, baby? It. We got Sansa just found out about her family. That was terrible. They didn't really make much of that. Because you know I think it's going to lead into next season with her and Tyrion, probably. You think they're going to. Because it's probably going to cause a huge like drama between her and her new husband. Yeah, but at the same time, man, this is the type of show that there is so much junk going on that they might mm-hmm. just completely move off that. Right. We haven't you know seen from Marjorie in a while. We haven't seen from Elena. You see what I'm saying? Like yeah. they've been leaving some characters out. Even like the Jon Snow like timeline and that whole storyline, that was a very slow. Mm-hmm. That was like a basically like a love story that happened over the course of this whole well, it's a short season. So right. like, um so much happened, man. Freaking the lady uh Lady Melisandre looked into the flames and all of a sudden just decided, hey, you know, our whole entire mission turns out. Yeah, let's take a turn. Hey, <laughs> real quick we actually need davos we don't don't yeah, kill yeah, him yeah. we might sacrifice him but no we're not going to right like what the heck man i don't know what's and, up with that um what was the one part we need we were talking we need to talk about there's one more person oh i guess we found we did discover that Roose bolton's son uh, ramsey, ramsey absolutely and ramsey was the one torturing theon and so ramsey's all i don't know if Roose is telling ramsey to send all this stuff to the iron islands yeah but it could be like he's doing the same thing that Theon was doing or he's acting on his own. I don't know. Well, no, Roose said that he sent his son, Ramsay, to take it back, right? So obviously he's acting on behalf of his dad. I'm pretty sure. But sending Theon's man parts to the Iron Islands, you think Roose ordered that? You know, that? that is something, that is an action that could very easily draw an overreaction from your opposition. So I understand the strategy in it. But, mm-hmm. you know, also that's something, that's like playing with dynamite, right? You right. can't really gauge that because that is such a, it's not really so much that you're torturing Theon, it's that you're literally disgrace in the family name in the worst possible way. Right. You could overplay your hand. Maybe Roose Bolton is responsible for that. It's hard to imagine that his bastard would make such calls. Because right. Roose seems like such a buttoned up individual. And, and we know bastards don't really matter, but this bastard here seems like kind of like he gets a little more credit. And he implied in the last episode that he doesn't drink because it dulls the senses. And he that just implies to me that he's sort of got a pulse on everything yeah. that's happening. So. He's kind of, like I said, him and Tywin kind of go hand in hand to me. Right. They kind of have their own like vibe together. Like it's like an older, I know, I'm just smarter than you type of person. Tywin's older though, so he's yeah. probably going to have the experience as right. for sure. So what we, what we sure. do know about Ramsey is he's obviously his bastard, but we do know that he is sadistic in all ways. And because of him sending that stuff to Balon, it may yara the rise of yara to come get him so something with that is going to pop off next season right and obviously the whole entire motive now for him capturing theon is essentially just to try to get all the ironborn scum out of the north so, yeah and you know every day that goes by that the men don't retreat another piece of theon will get Decent. shipped down yeah. to the iron island so absolutely crazy man if i was theon i might would have took my chance man like you know that you've already tortured me you've already cut my junk off bro like that man's that close to my face i might just try to bite i might just neck. try to bite his mm-hmm. neck man i really might so at that point i think i'd be like an animal you know if you, car, if you chain someone up like that i mean there's only like mentally i think you would just mentally snap and you would go into fight or flight and i would just assume i would try to kill the dude right i, try know. To chew him off, I think him they're off gonna bring brainwash him into thinking he's reek they yeah that's like, another thing that was so sad they're gonna to brainwash see, him and what happens when yard tries to get him and he's like nah dude i'm that i'm not theon like i don't even know you i don't think that's gonna happen i think theon's gonna see her and dip the hell out of there i hope so man you know if another character dies on the level of uh two b's this season basically what i'm saying is if more if more characters come about then we better get some more characters introduced because i right. feel like this show would feel a lot smaller like if john snow died that would completely kill that storyline. Right. Unless that storyline is going to completely but transfer the, the, to Sam. The thing about Jon Snow, though, he he just went to the wall and he did, he obeyed he disobeyed his oath. So like, though he's hurt, what are they going to do with him? Like, they have to do maybe what's the the right thing to do, which is cut his head off, right? Jon. Yeah, because he disobeyed. Yeah, his but they oath. don't know that. How do they know? He that? killed Corrin the- half in. Yeah, but who knows that? Oh, I don't know. No one knows that. He just pulled up on the horse and he's just chilling. Like, oh, true. He can make okay. up any story in the world. But he's John and he just tells the I truth. I was taking a leap beyond the wall. <laughs> heard a bird turn around, smack with a rock. There was a wildling lady standing above me with a crossbow. Hadn't eaten in three days. <laughs> Tied me up, she did. Yanked me, Willie. Uh, the, <laughs> I don't know, bro, just in case. Um, anyway. You might come back to Jolly. No, she might come showing up. Like, yeah. she, might, that, she ain't dead. What's your name? Eager. Eager. She might come showing up. Like he's back at the wall. Like you think right. you're like gonna be down there? Taking yeah, shots? they might come. They might come attack on the wall. Y'all ain't never had a crazy ex girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, they, should, they don't just go away. 
Guys, thank you so much for rocking with us, man. It's been so much fun. This season went by so fast, and we have, what, five more, maybe? Something like that? Yeah. Uh, I think yeah. five more. And we're just going to keep knocking it out until it is completely done, and then we move on to House of Dragons. So the plan is hopefully we're going to try to be like live. You guys were saying that, what is it, the first season was done or something? So you guys were saying that if we really put these out, then we can try to get live on House of Dragons season two. That's the plan. I don't know if that's going to be possible. But we're going to try that live. because it'll be cool to have theories and like kind of like go along yeah. with you guys on it instead of like... You you know y'all having to not spoil things for us you know that's something that we have yet to do on this channel is watch something weekly with you guys that way we can discuss it because everything we've watched you guys have known the ending and it would be so much fun to watch yeah i can't wait to do know. something like that so yeah we're really gonna try to push these out to do that guys there's a show i keep bringing up on this channel a lot man it's because i've seen the advertisements for it and you know i miss so many of the trailers to things yeah. but guys it's called from and it's because I watched Lost back in the day, and it's from the same guy who made Lost, got some of the same characters. But it's called From, and it's essentially, I think the thing is, like, these people go to a town, they can't leave, and there's these monsters, and then it's I like don't a really scary know loss. Right, something but, like that. But someone on our Patreon, guys, well, we mentioned it before, because it was on our poll, we wanted to, like, put that on but Game of Thrones won, of course. Right. But someone on our Patreon told us that they actually watched from and, and binged, binged it. it yeah. And they said it was amazing. And the new season comes out this this year. Something like that. So like we really want to check it out because guys, Lost yeah, was I've such been a good this thing off. Right. Here, Lost right. was such a good show for us, but but Game of Thrones is really like our heart right now. So like, well, that I mean, you know, we have other things we're doing on our channel, but we're really invested in Game of Thrones. That's that's the truth. Right. But I really do want to see that show. Uh, mm -hmm. The thing is, man, is like, I want to see it really bad, but I really like I keep bringing it up because I'm hoping at some point you guys will be like, from, 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 yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because I really want to watch it on the channel. But at the end of the day, man, this is you guys' channel more than ours. Like, we and it's a show that has theories and stuff, apparently. Exactly. So, like, we want to have theories with you guys, like, and be able right. to, like, discuss and, like, say Try things that y'all don't already know. Like, that's Dude, the I want to be able to watch a show like this with my detective glass with you guys. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I just want to be able to try to figure out, like, what the heck's going on, brother. So. Right. But don't get us wrong. We're having a great time of Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, for sure. 100%. Definitely knowing, not knowing things that y'all know is so fun. Every once in a while, something just comes out i'm like bro i really got to see that but the thing is ever since we started this youtube channel everything that's came out that i want that i've wanted to see i've essentially had to add it to a list and we'll be there in like what a year <laughs> i might not even remember that i want to see the show by the time we get there so i don't know how that show would do on youtube obviously but you know if you guys wanted to watch it man i'm down to just throw it on patreon for you guys right uh, and, and if it does good we can definitely do it on youtube too yeah. you know um yeah thank you guys so much for hanging out like always and we're having so much fun with this series I can't be more thankful for you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Yo, let me know, man. I wasn't kidding in the beginning of the video. Let me know what you guys snack on when you watch these videos. I'm actually interested to know. So, all right, guys. We'll see you on the next one.